Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad and, and, and I, I'm grateful. Listen, it's, I don't take it lightly, you know, sitting down here and bringing God's truth to you. I have to depend on the Holy Spirit to help me communicate his mind to you. And, and I know while that is going on, see, the Spirit of God is all over this place and even right there where you are. And as we are sharing God's word and your heart is open to receive, he is doing a miracle in your life. Praise God. Now, I began yesterday talking about uh, God, our healer, or God, our health. Now, we, we read from Exodus chapter 15 and verse 26. It says, let me read again verse 26. It says, and said, God speaking now, it says, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, I want you to notice that. You see, whenever God gives a condition for something, you need to look closely at what he said. Because they say, if you miss that part, you may not get the result. I'm telling you now, I'm talking about getting the result consistently. Not the one, it works today, tomorrow it doesn't work. See, we, you, you must learn to hold God to his truth. See, hold him to his word. Because he does not lie. The Bible says, he's not, the, he's not a man that he should lie. He neither is it the son of man that he should repent. So he's not going to come today and say, you know what, I, I know I said that, but you know what, I've changed my mind. No, he cannot change his mind. The moment the word has gone out of his mouth, he cannot change his mind again. Praise God. So God cannot change his mind about healing you. So, so why do Christians fall sick and even die? That's why we're talking about this. Praise God. Look at this. It says, if, he said, if thou will diligently, listen, this is some good work. <laughs> if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will diligently listen. Now then, how many times in your life have you, notice it says, diligently Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. Did he didn't say read the Bible? Now that is one thing you need to understand. Is if you if you don't get this part, you miss everything. He didn't say if you will diligently read the Bible. He says if you will diligently do what? Listen, listen to what? To the voice of the Lord your God. Now that's to tell you that God speaks. You know, I, I, I used to say this. God doesn't start speaking with you the day you get born again. No, 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 no. God has been speaking to man right from the Garden of Eden. Remember Adam and Eve. The Bible said they heard the voice of God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. It's the same voice that has been speaking to Adam. It's the same voice that is still speaking to this day. Now that's why God told the children of Israel in Deuteronomy, he says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hear me, if words are not coming from the mouth of God to you, you are not living. Watch this. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight. Now, how do I know what is right in his sight? When he tells me what to do. See, now, when God tells me what to do and I obey him, I'm walking by faith. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So how do I walk by faith? How do I please God? I wait for him to speak to me concerning anything. And then I obey him and carry out what he tells me to do. And then what happens? Faith comes. Now that word he gives to me was when faith came. See? And then my response to his word was my acting or my walk of faith. Do you, do you understand that? So the Bible says faith, remember the Bible says faith without works is dead. So faith comes. How does faith come? Faith comes from God. Do you understand that? Yes, faith comes from God. Then what do I do with faith? 
I walk faith. See? So, God says, get up. Maybe I couldn't get up before. Now, God says, get up. Now, that's when faith came. Now, what do I do? Walk the faith. How? Stand up. Watch this. And he says, and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord your that healed thee. I am the Lord your health. That's what he actually said. Praise God. That's what he is to you. Now, is he, is he the God that heals everybody? Yes, he is. But then, is everybody going to heal? Is everybody going to be healed by him? No. Not because he doesn't want to heal them, but because how many of them are willing to bury themselves in this truth? See what he said here. How many of them are going to say, you know what? I, I'm tired of listening to man. I want to start listening to God right now. I'm going to teach you how these things work. But we are laying the foundation. See, everything, you, everything we walk in Christ, the foundation of it is here. See, it's in the Old Testament. We find it in the Old Testament. No, I don't, don't, don't believe in this whole Old Testament and New Testament stuff. It's, it's man-made. Praise God. God is the same God from Genesis. And He is the same God that's going to exist till the end of time. Praise God. Because He is God. Hallelujah. Listen. Even now I declare healing into your body. You know what? This week, prepare to be healed. Even right now. Whatever sickness is in your body. I, I, you know, as I was sharing, I sense that the Lord is healing someone in the uh, waist area. You know, the waist area. The pain is gone from you. You find it so difficult sitting down. I declare your healing right now. I command that pain to leave you. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until tomorrow, this is Atuba Judge. I love you just as God loves you.